Hey. Hey. We're going to kind of borrow a little bit of that uh, ingenuity of the jailhouse guys. Especially the after prison show and the 23 and lockdown. Now, I've used coffee bags for everything, I think. Uh, I never thought of cooking them. They use potato chip bags. We're gonna use a coffee bag. Do some cooking in a coffee bag. Oh, yeah. Stick around. Welcome to the freezer. So today's hack is coffee bags. They are lined in aluminum. So, as y'all seen, I have cold soaked quite a few things. Rinse it out. Mm, still got that good smell. I'm going to show you my coffee tweak. And of course, we're doing some Spanish rice in here. We're just going to pour. And where it's got the aluminum in it, I'll show y'all the cold soak. This is kind of a hot soak. And this is kind of a take on an old gel house thing because they use potato chips bags. These bags, a lot of people don't have no use for them. Let me put this up here. I do have a use for them because they work good as insulation bags. And I got my handy dandy water that I keep ever so often. And like I said, this, I, this is kind of a take on the jailhouse stuff. You put just a little bit of water in there, you roll it up. Roll it up real good and nice, like so. Pump. Put your uh, a zip bag on there. Do it in my backpack. Put it like that. And then I normally drop it in a Ziploc bag on top of that. But once I drop it in the Ziploc bag, Take it like so, wrap it up, put it right in your pouch, come back in about 30 minutes, there we go. Okay, so what we have here is my little roll that I normally use, my little bamboo roll, and inside it, we have our little bag. So what we will do, let's just set that down here, look over my mess, pium, pium. And there's my little coffee bag, mm -hmm. as you can tell. And it's been about, uh, right at 30 minutes, I guess. Boom, look at there at all that goodness. Now, what we're going to do here, we're just going to pour it right out on there. Mm-hmm. Waste not, won't not, right? And technically, if I had a smaller bag, and I've seen people do this, they'll eat it straight out of the bag. You don't even have to put it on a plate. But for this video, we're putting it on a plate. Now, what I normally do is, you know, when I stop, if I'm doing breakfast or when I first wake up, I'll make a couple of these little bags. And as I'm riding, or if you're on the trail, as I'm riding, I will take, and when I stop and I get hungry, say at the roadside, instead of going in and buying some something that ain't good for me or whatever just get my little bag and pop that open eat out of it splash some water in it in the bathroom or wherever I'm at or just seal it back shut shake it around a couple times rinse it out put it back in the bag it's ready to go again or you can once you eat rinse it out put something else in there go back in the bag next stop ready to go again ready my noodles rice and little rice packs are awesome I get the Norris rice pack but I, I mean, I've used coffee bags as heat miners or anything. So what you can actually do is take the bag when it's warm like that at night, seal it up. Of course, put it in a Ziploc bag. Or if you got some, if you get the ones with the actual Ziploc in them, uh, put them in the bottom of your sleeping bag with your clothes. Keep your feet warm. So I've wasted enough of your time. Happy Halloween, y'all. Hit that bell so you can tell when we are here.